Hello, my name is Loretta de la Chang, and in this video, I'll be briefly explaining about this graph that is made based on Donald Feaser's tweezer business study case. So the graph consists of three different lines that represents the total cost, the total revenue, and fixed cost. These are all based off of the break-even point, which we determine through the fixed cost, the variable cost, and also the selling price. The study case provides us with the cost that Donald Feaser needed to start his tweezer business. And from the list of items provided, we can class them into two types. The first one is the fixed cost, which like its name is fixed and doesn't depend on the quantity produced. Meanwhile, the second type is the variable cost, which is relative to units produced. The fixed cost include rent, salaries, loan repayments, telephone, and offline supplies which after added up comes to a total of $12,500 per month. The variable costs include packaging, production wage, and raw materials, which accounts for a $5 cost per unit produced. Lastly, the case study also provides the information that Donald decides to sell the tweezers at the price of $10 per unit. So having these three pieces of information in mind, we can now find the break-even point. The X component of the break-even point looks for the quantity of tweezers to be sold in order to have the total revenue equal to the total cost. So to calculate the break-even point unit, which is the X component mentioned, we can divide the fixed cost by the difference between the selling price and the variable cost. This brings us to our equation 12,500 divided by 10 minus 5. And the result shows that when 2,500 units are being sold, the cost of production is equal to revenue. Next, the Y component of the break-even point is the cost or revenue. To calculate this, we multiply the break-even point unit by the selling price, which gives us the revenue. Thus, we multiply 2,500 units by $10 selling price to get $25,000 as the Y component of the break-even point, giving us the coordinate of 2,500 and 25,000. After having the break-even point coordinate, we can draw it on the graph according to its scales. The next step is to add the line for fixed cost. Because the fixed cost will always remain $12,500, the line will be parallel to the x-axis at y equals to 12500 This gives us our red line. Next, to draw the total revenue, we start at coordinate 0, 0 because the function for total revenue is price times quantity, which is $10 times quantity. At zero units of quantity, the revenue will be 10 times zero, which is also zero. From this starting coordinate, we can draw a line passing through the break-even point because the break-even point follows the same function of $10 times quantity. This creates our yellow line labeled total revenue. Meanwhile, the function for total cost is fixed price plus variable cost times quantity. This means that the line for total cost starts from the coordinate zero 12,500 because when the quantity is zero, the total cost is the variable cost times zero plus fixed price, which is 12,500. With the same reasoning, we can pull a line from the starting point and through the break-even point as it also follows the same function. This creates our green line labeled total cost. After getting all three lines, our graph is done and it represents the total cost, total revenue, and fixed cost of the study case. So that is all for our study case explanation. Thank you for listening.